Three, two, one. Unpause. Six, no seven, eight, nine, and ten. And here yes, playing sir. is the Armour Corps faction. It's Ferragi from Hungary. And in the south, playing as the god amongst men, it's Orange Pest, who has chosen Dak. He's, he's humbled himself to play as Dak. And I've got two of the best players and personalities from our community today. Um, who have I got from... Let's go with America. America? Neither of us. Mean, yeah, neither you're of us. We're both Canadians. Wait, you're from Canada? You're from Canada, <laughs> yeah. Havoc? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I've got two Canadians with me. Oh, my God. Whereabouts in Canada are you from, Havoc? Uh, I'm from, like, the cl basically the closest you can get to the United States. I'm in southern Ontario. Oh, okay. And we know you're from yeah. Quebec, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that still French Canada, Havoc, or is that, like, not French Canada? No, Quebec is the only French Canadian province. Okay, yeah. right, right. Okay, I should know that I've been to Canada twice, but uh, yeah, I liked Quebec because it was like Europe. You know, all the cities were twisty and turny. Yeah, yeah, true, mm -hmm. true, mm -hmm. very true, actually. Very well, nice. pretty standard so far, from what I can see. Yeah, I mean, I, do we? Let Let's focus on Orange Pest because he's the interesting one in this. He's well, he's, yeah, gone he's the for one not Italian for infantry. Yeah. So he's gone for still one of the most oh, no. oppressive metas yeah. in the game. I think he had the bug where his troops didn't get inside the half track. <laughs> yeah, he's just yeah. YOLOing this. This could have yeah, been a lot more did. damaging. He did. <laughs> Not a good start here. Two Jeeps can actually do pretty well against an ungarrisoned half track, can't they? Yeah. That is true, but at the same time, it kind of make, forces the jeeps to use the self repairs. And if you're not going for an engineer, your jeeps effectively become capping units. So yeah. it's, it's you gotta be careful. You've got to force that first self repair, haven't you? Because the cooldown is, is yeah. quite annoying. He's taking so a I lot of damage. Yeah, I think the mistake Orange Fest did was actually let the 250 tank that. The Panzer Grenadiers with combined arms are 10% harder to hit. Uh, it doesn't seem like much, but it's uh, double jeeps isn't as scary against a, a pig run with. Let's combined judge it by how many of his two plus ten fuels he keeps, because oh, the jeep's already going for the cutoff. <laughs> Looks mm -hmm. like it'll no, nope. Panzergrenade has forced them away. This is super tense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the most. This is the strongest opener you can have as access against double jeeps. You need the mm -hmm. two fifty. Um, Vermont, you get bullied no matter what you build. Yeah, I think, I, if I had to take a guess, this is the only reason why Orange Press went Dak. Just specifically because mm -hmm. he knew, like, his opponent was going to go double jeeps and just opted for this. Demer, you're a friend of Orange Press. Do we talk yeah. about the fact hey, that he had a crisis of confidence this week? Going from allegedly being a god he, 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 he slightly did, but I know that on this map, uh, he believes that Vermok is just not playable against a good US player. And I kind of agree with him to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think Dak has the best early game, but we'll really have to see how the mid and late game goes, because that's where the faction doesn't scale it's that well. It's always been such yeah. a good Dak faction. Havoc, what are your eyes on now with Orange Press? What do you want to see from him? Um, I mean, I think... Oh yeah, he is going Italian infantry. So he's probably going to go for a really aggressive L6 play, which... Honestly, I'm a little surprised that considering he locked Italian infantry, he's not being more aggressive in the early game because really what you want to be doing is farming CPs as fast as you possibly can. Um, and the way that you're going to do that is by fighting. And so he's holding good control of his fuel territory, which is one of the most important things to get to those L6s and his tech structures. Um, but he's going to need to do some more fighting to get those L6s at a good time. Like, five minutes is optimal, and he's yeah. pretty far off that right now. If you're wondering what else is optimal, you should check out Alpern's new guide on Meta on YouTube. I thought it was very accurate. That's no. a very well-edited guide. I listened to it on the car ride home just now. So, yeah, go listen to that. So, we've got the 250 getting weakened we against these Jeeps. It seems like he's baiting him in with the Assault Grenadiers. That's good a good. Is he going to cancel it? Okay. Yeah, no, no, he gets in for free. That's actually really nice to have because that building can be such a pain yep. if you are uh, trying to fight into it from the south. I have to say, this is, in my opinion, a good start for Orange Pest, keeping both plus 10 fuels no matter what, and surviving the double Jeep power spike. We should be heading, 
heading into Swedish Deutsche Afrika Corps territory very soon, I believe. He's going to have a very short window where yeah. uh, he's going to be able to make use of the L6s. Oh. Um, Fergie's already ready to put up his motor pool. The only thing that's going to impact is... To, oh, there it goes. He's putting it up now. So he may have almost no window to be really aggressive with the L6s, um, which is going to make it really, really tough for him because as the motor pool train starts starts moving, like it's pretty difficult to stop with any of the units that Dak have. Oh, Orange Fest is actually making a Panzer Jäger right now. Ooh, so that means he thief. Yeah, he thinks, yeah, yeah. Me. he yeah. thinks that uh, his window is... Might think his window's up. We'll even see. We'll even see if he's actually going to contemplate making it. Yeah. Interesting. The... You, got, you think he could stall for tier three, perhaps? I think what he's going to do is I actually, I actually think I told, I told Orange Pest this low key a few days ago. I actually told him that I think if you go double Panzerjäger and hide them and bait the Chaffier M8 to dive your L6s, you may be able to like get the jump on the US player. So you might be doing this. Mm, but it, he it, might it's not in. a good sign psychologically, though, is it, Havoc? It's, it's it reminds not. me of you versus Farage the other day, in fact. Um, yeah, I mean, Farage is a much more careful player than I am. That's something that would work against somebody like me, but, like, there were countless times where Farage could have been aggressive with his Greyhound or um, some of the tanks that he had in the games that we did, but he chose not to. He chose to be careful instead. He's a very cautious player. He's a very yeah. This is a very passive game. If you look at the kills, actually, it's only six and six. There's mm -hmm. only been twelve kills so far. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and nice we're seven minutes into the game. Round. Greyhound's going north. He does have his first building down, so he has access to anti-tank grenades. But Greyhound's out. That is so good. He was in trouble. They very much. Oh, yep. He's get, trying to get there with the AT grenade. Ooh. Can't get it off. He can't. Oh dear. Scouts might go down. It's close. It's going to get out. Very close, though. Yeah, there were three fights going off at the same time. Uh, Scout nearly went down near bottom. And in the middle, the flame. He's gone for the L6s off. as well. This yeah. game has heated up rather quickly, rather nicely. Those six kills apiece have doubled in a, a matter yeah. of one minute. You could pick up this rifle. Yeah, because the M8's low, um, it's not going to be able to scare off these uh, L6s. Oh, he's going. He's got it. There he goes! Oh, wow. wow. That okay. turned on its head so quickly. Mm -hmm. That was uh, that's actually very good. Yeah, it reminds me of a good boxer or a good MMA fighter. You know, it looks equal until there's an opening. And the, the really good fighters will pounce on that opening. And that's exactly what Orange Fest did yep. here. So I'm really surprised to not see grenades yet from Farage either. Not see grenades. He can't have them. He's US, so they'd be American grenades. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Rifleman grenades. Yeah, that's I'm a surprised joke. He, he, said, oh. he said not see grenades. You know. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm so close. All right, here we go. We've got the chaffy out. Still got both jeeps alive. Um, any any training or any sign? I mean, what do you do? With this, you just keep going multiple, multiple. Yep. Yeah, try yeah. and get tempo yep. back. Yep. Oh. Oh, that's tough. Oh. Losing the fence oh, nice. like that. Can he pick that up with the Panzer He can, he can but it's best to. not to. It's best not to. Ooh, it's best if not you pick to up give a flamer it to your opponent with the either, Jager, it's gonna oh, gonna get it with the rifle, man. Yeah, that's. I tell you, it's best definitely to pick it up with whatever you can pick it up with. You don't want a yeah, six-man flamer squad breathing down your neck. Looks like Orange Press went for tier 1.5. So he's going to have yeah. access to AT guns uh, and the Flak Veerling. Uh, this this is the problem at this point. Yeah. Where's that AT nade? Is holding his munitions. Uh, I guess he doesn't want to waste them. Yeah, I suppose a stun with no follow-up is a bit of waste, especially when your car your uh, L6s have already gotten away. Mm -hmm. Just gonna truck out for healing. 
Fergie's getting his engineer. Okay, so we got an AT gun coming out. There we go. Just get that nice and quickly onto the field. Nice use mm -hmm. of the uh, call and ability, of course. Do you feel like um, that's the correct move here? Just try and play your best with the the AT gun because it feels like yeah. Dak have kind of it's always been and gone at this point. Like, yeah. have they not like? Is Dak not really underpowered for the rest of the game now in general? Yeah. yeah. If he can get a T3 train going and he manages to pick off a couple of these light vehicles, he'll have a chance. But yeah. if Fergie just plays very conservatively and starts massing up Chaffees and other light vehicles from Motorpool, um, he's going to be in complete control. Surely have to become a poor man's spare max and go for mines and modders just to survive, surely. Yeah, yeah. Also, the reason why the man's Vermax. Go on, Demare, what do you have to say? Yeah, I was going to say that I think the pack is also a good call here because he's up, he's actually upgraded both his L6s with spotting scopes. So he can actually somewhat creep up um, on vehicles that if, you know, Fergie is not up on his micro, he could potentially like creep up his AT guns and his Jaegers and quickly snipe something. But actually... Never mind, he can't creep up his Jaegers because the Jeep has been upgraded and will detect oh. them as they creep up. So, I take that I back. I love it. Dude. <laughs> I take I, that I, back. Yeah, I think the commander for the Jeep is uh, low-key OP. Like, if they nerf fast deploy in the next patch or whatever, I sp expect to see so much more of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's great utility for that unit to scale. I think it's something that we need to see on... The dingo as well. Some more incentive <laughs> to uh, scale it. Oh, the jeep takes it. Yeah, the, well, it's not that jeep that might die. It's oh. this greyhound. Yeah, you can find yeah, it. It's stuck on a stuck tree. On the rock. <laughs> oh, that's oh, unfortunate. That's huge. Yep. Ah, that's the bad thing there. I mean, you, you think you're okay because you reversed on tactical map. And this is where tactical map players, like, yeah. you know, they come they come unstuck because they they've made these big grand gestures on the map without looking at the terrain in finer detail mm. there's two spots in this game that i know are cursed that's one of them and on twin beaches the north spawn near the cutoff there's that one tank trap <laughs> that always forces oh, yeah. these these 90 degree sharp turns having knows what i'm talking about because he talks about it often as well yeah it's very default good. camera view it's kind of hidden by castle wall is it not is it that one near the fort? Yeah, I think I know what you're on about. It's right near the north uh, spawn, southern cutoff. Oh, uh, sorry, my bad. Okay. There's like a truck there. Yeah, it's it's very difficult to get around with light vehicles. Six man flamer, <laughs> rifleman oh, flanking the L6. L6. Oh, L6 goes down. Yep. To a nice pickup with the M1 AT gun. Guys, call it. Who's Where's the tempo at? Who's got this? Um, it's hard to tell. Losing the L6 is pretty bad for Orange Fest because uh, it's a, there are really good units to zone out infantry since they're so mobile. So, Fergie can... He, he's, yeah, see, Fergie's actually going for another rifle right now, and I think that's a good call considering an L6 just died. Yeah, I think so. it's always a good call to try and get that, you know, hot rifle base. You, yep. you start without a spine, really, with this kind of double jeep play. You're going all flailing arms. And it's eventually nice to back tech, get some bars, grow a spine again. Just so you have that, you know, fundamental US strength. I'm actually going to disagree. I, I really? don't think that's the right call. I think, like, I mean, losing the Greyhound definitely put him in a precarious situation. But, like, Fergie had an opportunity to get a third light vehicle. Um, and he didn't take it. He, I think he back tech to get healing and something else. And now he's sitting on a lot of fuel and Orange Pest is teched into tier three now. So he's going to have access to Panzer threes and Farage's not going to have the ability to tempo build some of these light vehicles to keep up with it. It's going to you know allow what, Orange Havoc? Pest to be much more competitive. Let's do some empirical testing. Let's see how much pressure he applies with the ball pop on uh, three. Well, two rifle. Well, three rifles indeed. Yep, three rifles. The captain's in position. He's got a flamer on one of them. Let's see how much of the map he gets back and see if it was worth it based on that. I think bars is a good call here. I I think this is fine. 
Dodging as every as... grenade. Orange Pest has yeah, lost yeah. so much munitions, but he's still got so much in the bag still. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems like he's gotten the central victory points, so that is some pressure applied. He's pushed back the MG. It's all mm. on eyes on north now to see if it was a good decision to back tech there. Another rifle from Farage. Orange Pest is... Is that one of... He's getting a Panzer three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's his only yeah. choice at this point. Yeah. He's gonna have to get training for it as well. Tungsten and of course uh, crew survivability or whatever it's called. So otherwise, it's he does have the smoke, which is the essential upgrade. Do you not kind yeah, of find last... Panzer three's mare without the you know at least getting two of the three major upgrades? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, Peasant 3 is very dangerous, especially against Chaffee. But, like Havoc said, doesn't have a choice here. I mean, Martyrs aren't going to cut it. Uh, AT guns are probably just going to get dived. He uh, also didn't side tech into tier 2, yeah. so he's sitting at 1.5 right now. But if we look at Fergie's army composition, I think the P3 is probably the best option here for, for Orange Pest. There's only one mm -hmm. Chaffee, one AT gun. Yeah. So... There's also a Panzerjäger still. There's still an AT gun, so it's not like it's not like one Chaffee or two Chaffees can just easily die this. This commander also has access to Teller Mines, so we'll have to see if Ferrigi is worried about that. Because uh, Teller Mine will one-shot a Vet3 Chaffee, Vet3 M8 regardless. Wow. Uh, no, no. It doesn't? Pushing back no. onto the map in the center here. Looks like Teller we're a bit of a stalemate. Damage. Yeah. So it's going to put them on one shot. Um, Chaffee is the right choice here from Farage. Yeah. He's just going to stack these things up until he can get his easy eight uh, CPs. Well, bloody hell, Warcrown Smorange Pest there getting rid of the civilian establishment yeah. in the center. He's trying to hold the ground. Any mine Smorange Pest guys? Have you seen any defensive structures to no, prevent a possible Chaffee rush? None at uh, it, none actually. may come unstuck if the Chaffee's rushing with Seek and Destroy activated. Yeah. Orange Pest actually doesn't have any engineer units right now. Oh, they died, of course, yep. Yeah. But at the same time, I think the fact that there's not a single LMG upgrade on the Pgrims, Farage might be thinking there are a few Tellers planted. Yeah, that's a good point. Do we have any idea where his 200 munitions went that he was just sitting on? Yeah, wait, he upgraded his Jaegers to an LMG, but didn't upgrade his Panzer Grenadiers to an LMG. The yeah, second one doesn't have an upgrade. That might have been a misclick. It's a pretty big one, though. Jeep could go down south, check on Farage's awareness. Yeah. Farage's busy with the dive up top, so the yeah, Jeep... he's making a push. He is yeah. indeed. L6 in danger. L6 taken out. Anything to stop it? No, the bars are screening. Meanwhile, M1 pushes up in the center. Orange Pest is getting pushed back. Losing the Jeep isn't great, but it is a trade up for the L6. Yeah. That he Look at this flank from the, the rifles, guys. Two rifles push in. This is a divergence on Orange Pest's position. It's great oh, play from the Hungarian. Convergence. Orange Pest is just not going to have any answer to this, and he's going to take a look lot of the lead. Chaffee. Look at the Chaffee coming through that gonna go eastern around, base yeah. entrance. Yep, this could be a great shot. Wait, is he trying to attack ground through the... What? I don't know. It looked like yeah. it. <laughs> Bloody hell, Maybe he thought he could shoot over it. Salt grins at the middle, throwing grenades. Grenade. Okay, Orange Pest has kind of defended himself there, just about. Good defense, I would say. He kept his uh, fuel, he kept his cutoff, he lost the fuel itself in the north, but he actually able to... This is the great thing, by the way, about players of Orange Pest caliber. Whilst all of this is going on, he had a unit capping in the south. Now, a lot of players would have preferred that Panzer yeah. Grenadiers was there for the defense, but Orange Pest's micro is so good, he's able to defend without one of his mainline units present. And that's the thing that sets the tournament winners aside. Or one of the things, obviously. If you go back and watch some of the greatest replays of all time, you'll always notice that sneaky unit around the side capping the map. That's true, yeah, definitely. 
especially when there's a big fight going. I like how Orange Pest somehow has more pop cap than Farage. Oh, well, not anymore, but oh no. Yeah, not anymore. You spoke way too soon. The Panzer yeah, III. No. How we hardly knew ye. Good smoke grenade. It's Very not nice. Enough, no, sadly not. What will the Shafi yeah. do, guys? Go forward or back? Your decision. Oh, he's gone back. There's no yeah. way he survives this. No, he can still use the smoke of the yeah, of the unit itself. Oh, smoke is a double-edged sword sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, even if the pack got another shot in there, the Chaffee was, was safe to go. Mm -hmm. Another P3. Oh, man. I don't think Orange Fest is going to be able to come back from this. He's lost his tempo, and or Farage's floating a lot of resources right now. Captain Mortar did a lot of work. Orange Pest, by the way, the value of the capping he's done, guys, is the fact that he's got his American opponent down to 3-2-3 three, three victory points. So although this is a G1 loss, if he gets to a G3, he might have faction choice. That is, yeah, that is true. Orange Fest tends to actually focus VPs in tournaments. Yeah. He did that a lot at the yeah. release of the game. He didn't used to, by the way. He actually uh, transitioned sometime in his Code 2 career, I noticed. He was once very much the Von Ivan style of just sit on the fuel and ignore victory points at all costs, kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, victory points are the win condition, ultimately, or one of the two win conditions. The other being Gasilda. Aren't you going tank people? Okay. Yeah, convert the win. I actually, this is a good choice by him. He's got so many resources at this point. Oh, that engineer might get away. Oh, Jeep oh, takes the hit. Mines wouldn't be. Mines, yeah. Oh. Mines gonna save the engineer. Oh, and the Jeep. <laughs> but, um, Ooh. guys, uh, there must be some science to when you double down or triple down in motor pool or decide to actually go for tank depot. And I suppose it's all based on game feel. Either way, the Americans are always the faction that have everything, you know, that all they can do is lose because they kind of start winning, don't they, in the game? Yeah, yeah. You would know, being an American Havoc, of course. As of this cast. Yeah, for sure. I'm excited to I was going to say, it works as that tier 2 here. You could actually revive that P3, but, you know. That's a lot of resources for yeah. something that's going to take over a minute. Yeah. Uh, I, think, uh, I think the community was so worried about the um, repair Zombie tanks. Zombie tanks. Yeah, yeah, they were so worried. They they complained so much about it that they've always been, kind of just been a little bit underpowered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, there's a counterplay to that. Just just kill the Rex, man. It's actually yeah. very easy to do in Co3. Do you mm -hmm. remember Demet, you were the one person saying, No, Burst Tigers were fine. <laughs> uh, I think they were fine, yeah. Yeah, I, I liked Burst Tigers from Co. 1. You, yeah, you always had an incentive to kill Axis Rex in Co. 1, because Vermont could get ammo from them and PE could revive them, so just killed them. And nice 11 second them. dozer coming out from Farage. Wow. Thanks. So balance. Has he raised the Bulldozer Blade yet? No, he hasn't. Suboptimal bulldozer usage so far. <gasps> he's raising the blade, guys. There we go. Speed there we boost go. incoming. <laughs> oh, he's going right through with these chaffies on the P3. Oh, that's a bigger thing to comment on, but this P3 gets away. Yeah, this one will get away because the ATG screening it, so. Yeah. But at this point, I'm surprised Fergie just doesn't die this because it's yeah. so worth the trade here. That's the thing. He's yeah. so ahead in the resources that. Yeah. Yeah. I was just about to say, this is the difference between me and Farage as a player. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm taking the AT gun shot, I'm popping so you can destroy, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna trade that out, yeah, because um, that's totally worth it. But, but, but with Farage much respect, more comfortable. With all due respect, um, to you, to you, Havoc, Farage's refinements in terms of his tactical, like infantry-based play, why would he ever put himself at a disadvantage? Because he has no, uh, he, he always thinks he's gonna win if it's a long, drawn-out game. Yeah. You know, he, he thinks yes. he's he thinks he's more skillful than you at the smaller things, you know what I mean? For sure, yeah. for sure. So he, he doesn't feel he needs to go for a knockout blow. Why risk it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the things I was excited about for this game is I consider both of Farage and Orange Best to be control-type players. They don't mind the long, right. drawn-out games. Very different from me. I consider myself a tempo player. Um, and I think it's a big part of the reason why... I lose so often to these two guys because they yeah. just do a great job of dealing with the pressure and weathering it and then, you know, building their own momentum and coming back once the army sizes get much bigger. 
And it's very difficult to be in, in both camps, by the way, control or a rush player. You, you sure. very rarely get tournament winners that are kind of have a foot in both camps. You're either the Love Nest archetype or you're the Dev M archetype. Mm -hmm. That's true. I mean, people in the Dev M, there's not as many tourney winners in the Dev M archetype. You've got Kimbo, you've got Von Ivan, who are only won NA tournaments. So it's very difficult to be a rush player in company areas yep. and be successful, sadly, sadly. I will say though, this game probably favors it the, the most between Co two and Co three. From what I I've played, I haven't played a lot of Co one, yeah. so I don't know about that. But um, I think it's contributed a lot to my own success. Yeah, definitely. Get two P threes now. Yeah, I mean, Farage's got space and resources to build a Hellcat if he chooses. Yeah. So. Key threes are fully upgraded. It looks like it might just be a slow bleed out here from Orange yeah. Pest. He's just oh, not he's able just... to do meaningful work against these rifles with his P3s. Yeah, this game's been over for a while. It's all been about Orange Pest just uh, could, you know, staying warm, um, warming up even further into the series. It's, uh, it's also good psychologically sometimes to just keep playing and just show your opponent you're not willing to give in too easily. Yeah. I have to give some credit to Orange Pest, though, for getting a Farage below 350 BPs. That's, like, quite an achievement based on what I've been seeing in this tournament so far. With um, Dak as well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my own games have been basically winning as USF in eight minutes and then... <laughs> Try to survive as long as possible as actually. Just like that Jeep somehow. The Panzer III yeah. rushed to take out the Jeep as a moral victory almost. <laughs> They're trying to create some breathing space so Orange Pest can slip his head from under this guillotine grip and get out of this, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Meanwhile, we've got a Soul Grenadier pulled on to the field. And you're learning a valuable lesson, guys. Never go Panzer III, even if top level players on this cast think it's sometimes a good option. AE does not approve. On the chaffies. 200 miles an hour dodges the P3 shot. Yeah, it does. And the next one. Meanwhile, Bulldoze is taking everything out from behind. May even take the Panzer III. Orange Pest is going for the moral victory on the chaffie. Can he get it? <laughs> he's attack rounding, it seems. Oh, no. Oh, he's given up. He lost track of it. GG. 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 Let's check out the stats before Relic throw me out of the game. <sighs> Three twenty-three VPs for Orange Pest. That's actually uh... surprisingly, Fergie took more infantry yeah, casualties. Yeah, he did. That's he did, that, I... that's something Orange Pest can take away from this, to be honest, because um, Fergie had an excellent KD against Havoc the other day. Mm -hmm. Damn, I'm actually surprised by that. I think this series is all wide open. I, don't, I think Orange Pest took the L, but he didn't take any other Ls, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? It's kind of mm. true, yeah. It's kind of true that Dak is supposed to have the positive KD, considering they're mainly about vehicles, but yeah. considering he lost that many vehicles, I'm surprised he still held up a positive KD, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I would normally agree at Kai Fung, but they are playing a series, so I do think it means something. And I think it's the num one of the number one metrics to judge how a series is, you know, how a you know series of company heroes is going because it shows who had tactical position and awareness over the other player. I mean, of, of, admittedly, Dak is mostly vehicle based, so kind of, yeah, I don't know. Just have to agree to disagree. Well, you watch fighting games, Ipkai. I mean, surely if you got your opponent down to really low health and it was a close game, that means a lot more. That means, you know, than losing to a perfect health bar, right? Of course it matters how you lose. Okay. Right. Have you guys got replay two? I believe I sent it to you. Yes. Um, um, second, five seconds, seconds right now. Good One lash. second. I went past the five seconds. Tell us where you got to. I'm just starting it. So good. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice, nice. Um, that's... F All right. I'm at five. Farage's got the scoreboard on the left. What the fuck, Relic? What are you doing? I need to stop swearing because I'm doing a, like, a more professional tournament coming up. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. 
I think we did a good job to not turn it into a debate podcast. So well played, guys, in game one. It takes a lot of restraint because <laughs> we've all got opinions and we all want to have them. So, yeah, GG, well played on that. Um, I'm going to get to five seconds myself. We're getting extra recon kit. Standing by. Okay, so three, two, one. Unpause. Six, seven, right eight, nine, ten. Yes, Confirm. Sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Oh, let's go. And uh, who do we have in the north there, Demer? The man from Sweden himself, Orange Pest. Going classic armored. Oh, no. I haven't seen this enough. Makes you <laughs> sick. And havoc. Yeah. Uh, does this also make you sick? We've got coastals in the south. Yeah, not surprised to see this from Fergie again. It really suits his play style, and it's very meta right now. Um, so I think we're in for I think we're in for a good game. Surprised to see armor from Orange Pest, honestly, after all the shit he talked about it and saying that Airborne was better. He just wants to win now. He's one nil down. I think. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe he would go Airborne if it was Twin Beaches, and he goes Armored because it's Road to Tunis. Maybe it's a map mm -hmm. differential there. Mm -hmm. But I uh, guess mm -hmm. I'm gonna put my uh, camera on the cutoff. Um, you know the cutoff near Ferragi's base. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I don't need to move it from there, so I'm just going to pivot around that pole. Because the the de designate defensive line will go here, so all the fighting will be here. Mm. So kind of easy mode. So I'll just leave now, and you guys can cast, and I'll leave the camera where it is. How about that? Perfect. Seems <laughs> good. Oh man, can't wait for that to get nerfed. Surely, just make it smaller or something, anything. From okay, I thought the jeep was AFK down south. But it looked like it, yeah. Yeah, it's I was a like, a little oh, no, slow man. there. Blast away. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Daniel or somebody that made a great critique of my usage of jeeps on this map that I took to heart, which is using the jeeps together, they're a massive force multiplier compared to this scout jeep combo that yeah, Orange yeah, Best yeah. has. And you can see the double coastals and Pio are creating much more space than they would be able to against two Jeeps. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I thought it was uh, accepted meta to use the Jeeps as a pair amongst you guys yeah. at the top level. I, I'd heard a lot of people say that. So yeah, it, it is surprising Orange Pest has, has gone for that because this could easily be the scout in His the South. favorite airborne, it? historically. Yeah, he says that good Jeep play on this map is uncounterable. And here he is. <laughs> Lifting them up. <laughs> I'd kick him off your spreadsheet again, guys. Get get rid of him. He's not taking it seriously. <laughs> Let's hope I'm, I'm a little surprised by that. I'm, I'm, also, I, I'm just surprised because I remember when Orange Pest, we did a bunch of scrims a few patches ago. We did a lot of practice snares to see how you dealt with the double jeeps on this map. And we came to the conclusion that double jeeps just rushing your fuel up top was far stronger. And here he opted to cap. Uh, yeah, so I agree with Havoc. It's a really strong start by uh, Fair G. He's taken no bleed yet and very minimal damage from the Jeeps. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying when I just say good infantry pay, play and tactical prowess. You have to watch a replay on half speed to truly appreciate all the decisions mm -hmm. Fair made along the way in this daisy chain of cover hopping. That now means he dominates his side of the map and he's not under attack from two Jeeps. Yeah, uh, I mean, unfortunately for Orange Pest, Vermark is now going to sit comfortably up the, on the top side, and there's not really much he'll be able to do, right? Because he went double jeep opening, there's already an MG, three coastals and a pile, so now there's the mine game coming in, of, uh, well, yeah, there goes our first mine on the top fuel, so these jeeps are going to become very passive now, because they could potentially just get instantly killed. Wow, unfortunately for Orange Pest, he wasn't able to clap the, cap the plus 10. Uh, in the south there due to the 240 manpower cost of the coastals meaning they could get out quicker and get their toe over the line so that is yeah. uninterrupted fuel control from Ferragi's 2 plus 10s and that's what I'm always mm. looking for uh, when you're up against uh, Axis and you're trying to deprive them as uh, with jeeps you want to get at least one of those two fuels away if you want the mm. tempo to like have an early game win and yeah. Orange Pest isn't getting that tempo right now no, we're definitely not seeing the Havoc 5-minute uh, M8 that we saw last time. Uh, oh, yeah. This is probably going to be more of a 6-minute M8. Congratulations, Havoc, by the way. You get the Golden M8 Award of the tournament for the fastest M8. With, uh, 5 minutes and 7 seconds, I believe it was. Congratulations. I think that was Twin Beaches, right? No, it was on this map. Yeah. Was it this one? Yeah, it was this map against Fergie when you had the entire fuel. And then you got... yeah. 
and then you didn't do anything with it. So we're now yeah, taking... still, still <laughs> kicking myself about that game. <laughs> That's why it went quiet, right? Yeah. yeah. I was like, okay, I, I, won't, I won't rub it in, but you know, yeah, the five minute I made, we still lost. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do anything with it. It's all good. I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised that Relic put the, the replay UI on the yeah. top of the screen so I can't see anything. It's it's really was a truly inspirational decision there on their part. <laughs> All right, what else do we have happening, guys? It's gone quiet. We've had a yeah, total of eight quiet. kills at this point. These guys are basically posturing for position. It may even be worth mm -hmm. showing Fog of War just to show how uh, reactive they're being to one another's... We do have a mine going off in the north for the captain, losing half his yeah. squad. Orange Pest is trying to take away this plus 10 yeah. fuel. That's a so dangerous retreat to. path. Oh, man. And there's also a mine on the VP. <gasps> MG's not facing the right way, though, so he will survive. He runs the gauntlet just about. But there's a mine on the VP, you say? Oh, but it's on the bottom. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, so close. It's on the it's bottom. That lost. probably would have wiped it. Can You, you can get three-man squad wipes, can't you, to mines, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, okay. A in a great spot right now. He's got enough manpower yeah. for a Jaeger. Um, his 2 2 1 is out. He's already upgrading it with the Panzer Bush to counter the Greyhound. And DDL, yep, there we go. Of course. Yeah. The fact that Line it gives healing up. is just. Wowza. At least for the fatherland spam, uh, to me, you had to build your own bunker. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping they low-key do that because it's there's no counterplay to that ability except pushing Ooh, into it. Oh, he's found the jeep with the Panzer Booska. Oh, he has to but shoot it over lives. The wall now. It ah, lives. look at that turbo drive on the jeep. But that other jeep up top, though, not so much. Yes, no. Look at that's, him. That's gonna go look down. A bit dicey. He actually might get out. He is on a road. He needs to stay on the yeah, road now, yeah, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he needs to. We should really show yeah, he's gonna get out. here. Um, wow, it's actually going to live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. the Coastals don't have very good uh, vision, right? It looks kind of weak, or is it just standard? Uh, they have really crappy accuracy when they're on the move. Oh, that too, yeah. <laughs> I like it, flare in the base from Orange Pest, just to see what's yeah. coming out. <laughs> nice. That's what I wanted to see with Co3. And um, I I was like, basically saying this at every possible chance I could get. I, I wanted to see reconnaissance and the ability to see what was being built from base at any time. Like every building should have a tell. You know, like it didn't go one with the supply yard, having extra yeah. things outside, if it had an upgrade, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Sadly, it didn't quite work out that way, but you can tell a lot still, more than Co2 at least. Yeah, definitely. Greyhound 2 here from Orange Pest. Farage still floating enough resources to be building something else right now. Yeah. I swear, it's this guy's one weakness is he floats way too much. He loses tempo and opportunity. Yeah. He does do that. Kind of shows he feels his strength is just playing tactically really well with what oh, he has. Oh, no. Panzerbuska watching on. That was a really good Flame 18 aid. The other Greyhound's coming to save the day. Can he do it? This is important for Orange Best. Oh, Look at that aggression. He pushes in with the weakened M8 and, and keeps everything going. Panzerbuska's racing back, though. Do you have the unsung hero in that engagement, guys? There was a Jeep on the North VP, so he could see where the Panzerbuska was uh, at. Yeah. He still can. But that 2-2-1 does have that one, so it can actually self, kind of low-key self-spot for itself. Uh, it can get the drop on the M8 and the Chaffee because of the extra vision it gains. Bloody hell, this plus 10 fuel in the south is Hamburger Hill for Orange Pest. He's just thrown himself at it. He's not got yeah. it once, you know. He's lost so much manpower to that plus 10 fuel. Oh, I like this. Orange Pest went, went for the recovery vehicle. What? Why? Yes, this unit repairs instantly look at these m8s and they're gonna go back up to a hundred percent hp in like five seconds dude it's actually crazy. it's actually low-key genius Epic, yeah like just look at this what
That's lightning. Oh, it's yeah, got yeah, a yeah, lightning it's... rod. It's from bloody Cyberdyne Systems. That's insanity. Yeah. It's turned the M8 into a Terminator, I'm sure yeah. of it. And it repairs so quickly that um, I'm pretty sure you can out-repair the damage that you'll take from something like a Panzerbusch. So you're pretty much always going to win your fights. Sounds like uh, Demare was one of the yes. early access uh, no, 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 of I, Orange Pest only Orange fans Pest. account. Because you, no, 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 so you I had knew a about this. <laughs> I, yeah, 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 I knew about this because I had a game against him with Dak. And he kept recovering his mate when I killed it. You're quite a powerful guy this. for the other tournament players to befriend. You, they could, like, steal information from you. The latest yeah. Orange Pest news. <laughs> Look at that thing following the M8s yeah. around, making yeah, it you just follow it. You just follow it, yeah, and it also self-repairs itself. So What? <laughs> That's yes. great! Who, who knew this oh. was in the game? Incredible. Oh, Panzer Boost could try and take out the other M8, though. Can't do it somehow. That's strong enough the Wormel so shots. That's a goofy. surprise. Is that based off a Grant or a Lee tank? It is, isn't it? Bloody hell. I think so, yes. Yeah. It's an M3 Lee converted. Wow. I, I'd i heard that this was in the game files, almost like the Australian units or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? One of those, like, <laughs> hidden units. <laughs> yeah, right now, the cutoff being taken is too bad. Oh, Good last scene during year. Alpha 2012, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> right, Verbalvin sitting on the cutoff. That's the bigger news. Recovery vehicle aside, Orange Pest has actually been the first player to be properly cut off this game. That's true. Well, the, the repair vehicle is nice and all. It is pretty expensive at 300, or I think it's 300 manpower. Yeah. It doesn't become cheaper either with the, uh, with the 2CP vehicle discount. Look at the difference in kills. 37 yeah. kills for Farage. Only seven for Orange Pest. What the in the blue hell is that? Yeah, that's wow. uh That is oh, man. a massacre. Farage has absolutely it. stomped Orange Pest in this game so far. We're casting this as though it's still going because this is our number one seed who has dominated the scene for the last six months. But right now, Farage's mauling him. Yeah, like, listen, there was a lot of casualties taken trying to harass the plus 10 outside base. Um, but yeah, like, it's, a lot of, it's if a lot you of empty the UV light uh, fly killer here. You'll see a lot of dead <laughs> riflemen at the bottom of it because he's been a moth to the flame down mm -hmm. here, unfortunately. And Orange Pest is in a funk. He's in a psychological funk with his co-play. He needs a coach like Demare to bring him out of his funk because, uh, he, unfortunately, this hasn't been his game and it's certainly been Farage's. Yeah. But, okay, we got the Chaffee out, so... We'll have Farage's to see. upgrading him. He needs a montage, Demer. He's got a big tourney coming up in a few weeks' time. Three weeks to be precise. Yeah. He's gonna need a montage. Oh, good shot on the 2-2-1. This is a tough spot to be in his orange pest. It really is. He's got Jaeger's artillery officer as well. It's just, that's insult to injury, in my opinion. Has he? Oh, no, seen that. I don't see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brain saw it. It didn't exist. My brain. I was going to say, you never see that usually, but it was just my. I had a hallucination. Oh, he's going to lose that scout. Greyhound goes down. Oh, man. This is a scout, too. Oh, the other Greyhound. Can... Is, is Orange Pest respondent here? Oh, Chaffee's going to duel these Werbles. He'll be fine. If Orange Pest could make a comeback, it would be very surprising at this point, would you say? Very surprising, but I mean, he's, anything can happen, especially with U.S. U.S. has by far the best comeback and potential. armor. Yeah. yeah. All right, <laughs> he's queuing up the comeback right here with his Chaffee number eleven second Chaffee number two. <laughs> I feel it, Fergie though, floating so many resources again, man. Oh, dude. He could really close this out if he just spends those, but. 
Oh, okay. She hits the mine. Oh, yeah, there you go. 2-2-1 two, two, down. Shafi goes straight in there. Is the comeback possible? He's going in oh. in the north as well oh, with yeah. the recovery vehicle. Yeah, the recovery vehicle's going to repair the Chaffee. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, there's a Shrek nearby, though. Uh -oh. He's got another shot in on the, the flak the there. Jaeger's targeting the repair vehicle. Look at that. Meanwhile, he's got there him go. the Shafi and yeah. the Greyhound. Got the kill on the Verbal Vim in the south. He's trying to get the one in the center. Can he get it? Yes, he can. Yeah, there he goes. Back shit. in the game. There he goes. What the hell? That's incredible. America That's incredible. He's back to 45 faction. pop wow. cap. <laughs> what in the blue hell happened? Can somebody give me a recap? Somebody more coherent, please. <laughs> Going Havoc, what have we seen here? How did Orange Pest do that? Uh, I mean, he had his Jaegers too far apart. He prioritized the wrong vehicles, and his Werbles weren't under the cover of the Jaegers. He he was backing them away instead of keeping them in the range of the Jaegers. So Orange Pest was able to just dive and pick off all of his vehicles with Seek and Destroy. Yeah, Seek and Destroy is a uh, hell of a drug. Panzer Shock a lad for all of your tanks, and you just... The rate of fire is immense when you... Uh, Chaffee's fully repaired. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think it's going to be Vet 3 in like, a, in like less than a minute. And another thing that Havoc pointed out, of course, is Farage's one weakness, his floats. He has floated a lot. It means... Well, Nubius Nath is joking in chat, of course, that he can rebuild. But he should never be in a position where he has to rebuild that much. Meanwhile, we've got Rifleman possibly going down. Oh, what a ridiculous Ooh, game we're watching. Oh, I can't keep track. 55 to 19. Your orange piss is in this somehow. What the hell? This is the struggle of playing against DDL, man. And against a player like Fergie, who's so good about keeping your units healed up and not taking too much bleed, like... It's really tough to create space on the KD. What the is on the half track? Um... More speed, repair rate, even more repair rate at Vet 2. Right, yeah. Wowza, okay. Does this thing get XP for repairing? Yeah, it's sure. It's it's support veterancy, so it's like the weasel. It's been near the front lines all game, exactly. Yeah. So it's been soaking up a lot of it, a lot of experience. <laughs> Full wow. HP. Wow. <laughs> oh god. Are there any vehicles he can salvage? Look at this. Two Greyhounds, two Chaffees going in. There is a Jaeger to stop them, however. Can this Jaeger hold back the Red Horde of Orange Pest's army? He's pushing the Jaeger. Yeah, some cat fire. There's only one wreck on the field, though, but if 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 he could get his hands on a Verbal Wind, oh, that would be amazing. Is that it? There was one. Where is the nearest Verbal Wind to me? Where's the nearest intact hole? Ah! We've got a 2 2 1 Panzerbuska, by the way, south of the Casbar. You yeah. could get that, maybe. He's also got a Greyhound at the south VP. Oh, yeah. The one that lost to the Jaegers slightly oh, off true, camera man. earlier, yeah. That would be the most obvious one, I think. Orange I mean, now Orange Pest is making more mates. I don't this think is the that's right the right call. Real. It is. It is totally the right call. He's, there's no way he's clawing his way back with infantry at this point. He needs to be chunking these Jaeger squads, and the only way he's going to do that is with high damage, single shot yeah, weapons sure. like the Greyhound cannon. This is yes, how the Americans won the war, wasn't it? He should not be gambling this Jaeger right oh, now. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, shoot, wait, with the Vet 3 repairs, yeah, look, he <laughs> could just tank this. Oh, he's losing the Jaeger. Oh my god. The yeah, it's back to full health, it just ain't two Jaeger. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Chaffee's going to diversion in the north, the invincible Iron Curtain. M8 in the center. Oh, oh he's going to pick he up a coastal. There's yeah. no way that survives, surely. Oh my god, it oh. did. Oh. to the rescue, Jaegers. Oh, what can they do? The M is it the M31 recovery after? It's going to be so close behind. I know, it's just, yeah. Vet 3 on the M31, by the way, it's got more health now. So it can just chill out in the center of the map, basically making yeah. everything invincible. 
I'm surprised the Orange Pest retreated his three vehicles back to base like that. I mean, he doesn't have to go that far back. No, he doesn't. You're right. Finally rebuilding his rifles, by the way. Max, yeah, he, need, he needs capping power. He's slowly being pushed up. The victory points are flipped, by the way. I, I should just mention for anybody unconfused. Um, Orange Pest, of course, has the disadvantage at 197 victory points. Perigee needs to have the wherewithal at this point to know that the best thing that he can do is build martyrs. Yeah. He does Mods not need mines. infantry. Yeah. He doesn't need any new tech structure. He needs critical mass of martyrs. That's the only way he's going to deal mines. with these light vehicles. Martyrs and mines. and mines. Come on, Havoc. You have yep. to say them together, Absolutely. otherwise you'll martyrs forget. Martyrs and mines. You'll forget. <laughs> we need martyrs and mines, baby. Just like yeah. Men and Motors magazine. <laughs> Mortars and Mines magazine. It's it's hot. You're gonna want to look at that. I'd also like to see the Vet One tech on his Jaeger facility. Yeah, I was gonna say that's that's what he's missing right now. Look at the blood. Look at the trail yeah, of blood. Right. <laughs> Orange Best KD in a nutshell is like on screen right now. He's actually Another chaffy. Go on, have it. <laughs> Another chaffy for Orange Best. This is really gonna round out his. Uh... Vehicle force with three anti infantry vehicles, three anti tank vehicles, and with seek and destroy in the bag, <laughs> I can smell a big play coming. Oh, yeah! Oh, this is gonna be sick. I can't wait. Oh, we've got movement. We've got two Shafis moving in the south. Ooh. This could be the harbinger of a huge convergence into the center. Yep. There's a Captain Mortar as well to start us off. Here come the Shafis from the southern flank. Do we have Greyhound movement? Yes, we do in the north. We also have a rifle dying. Of course we do. Verbal Vind in danger, imminent danger. The Jaegers cannot save it. Meanwhile, the Greyhounds are pushing their way through. The Mortar's trying to oh, defend. No. Oh, the DDL saves the day. Of course it does. Pretty good spot there. So the rifleman escaped. Verbalman went down. So that's a pretty good. Uh... Yeah, just killed a verbalman. Got out. The M31 recovery half track will, you know, pretty much repair everything within ten seconds. Yeah, it's gonna repair everything really quickly. Yeah, I mean, this is incredible, dude. Look at that. Fully repaired. Wow. Let's. Uh, how many seconds do you guess? I reckon. I think it's four, three seconds. One, two, three. Yeah, between three and four. Bloody yeah. hell. That's quick. Yeah, that's really quick. No, oh, he's rebuilding the Wormle. This is What's such a mistake doing? at this point. Oh, by the way, look, there's a Chaffee that snuck around into no man's land. Yeah, what the hell two is points. that? No, dude, that's, that is sick. That's awesome. It's like in a, like a cool way. The mods. He's gonna, he's gonna snipe look the at that. In the rear he was Here escaping the vision of the points, and he hits the mod a slap bang in his big fat ass. Nice. <laughs> Using the oh, wall speed to here? get round. Oh, that's sick! Like, look at that! One more shot! One more no, shot! No, focus the monitor! Okay. <laughs> that was so that's cool! That's a good trade for Orange Pest. Dude, that was so cool! You so rarely see people, like, navigate the points to stay out of the vision of the opponent like that. Because it's so micro-intensive. That was an awesome play from Orange Pest. Not that an Orange Pest needs more money, by the way, but the uh, patrons of my YouTube can uh, vote on a $50 non-meta award for this tournament. So I think it's between Orange Pest and Dexen at the moment for the games I've cast. You'll have to point me in any replays uh, to show me anything else that's interesting. He's building another Jaeger. I, I just, I don't think this is the call against three Greyhounds, man. Unless you're blobbing them together, which... Perigee hasn't been. He's just chewing up. He's really close. I mean, the gap is still significant, but he's starting to pick up some more kills on uh, Perigee's infantry with these greyhounds. Uh, you, sh you should really know that mods and mines counter mechanical Easy, mines. it's been unlocked. Damn. I think he goes for it. I think so. Yeah. He needs the engineers think... for repairs, of course. Of course. <laughs> He hasn't got enough power. Oh my god. Is. Wait a second. I just thought of something. Is 
the... I need to think before I speak. Oh, thank God. Relic, even Relic aren't that stupid. Field repairs and M31 are mutually exclusive. I was just checking. Like, I was thinking, no, they, they wouldn't be that stupid. <laughs> but I had a also lot of bad. doubt. <laughs> no, the recovery vehicle is only one CP as well, whereas field repairs is two CPs. So. Well, well, usually everyone chooses it, right? Uh, yeah, guys everyone uses it. So you it. can get to the um, cheaper tanks quicker, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's just for 300 manpower, it is pretty expensive. But I mean, I think yeah. this is a good game to showcase how, how much momentum he can apply here by just keeping <laughs> these vehicles fully repaired. How upsetting mm -hmm. is it that we're still getting evolution of meta in 1.4 patch, but it's just making armor a better choice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Orange Pest by proxy cannot win that award, surely, for making armor even better. That's not possible. Alpern, the unofficial fourth caster in chat, says uh, Fergie's finally beginning to use the Jaeger cloak. Captain could die. Nope. Coastals can't kill him. But that, yeah, uh... the thing is, uh, he's oh, we've not got a flank. Really... We got Greyhounds in the south. Sorry to interrupt yeah. there. Taking out the no, pioneers, so that's perhaps. That's... Jaegers want to stop it. Dead Jaegers. He's going to keep pushing the Shrek model. Oh, this could be a three squad wipe. What can stop him? He's not close enough. He needs to retreat the Jaegers in the center. In the meanwhile, he could be collapsing in the center. Let's check that out up there. Yeah, indeed, the Jaffies are pushing in. Oh, he's not been able to get all those wipes. He did get a Jaeger there to help out. Greyhounds are going to be back within 10 seconds thanks to the M31. Yeah. Look at that Chaffee. Completely crippled. Back to full health. Oh, that's it, though. Oh, he's got a snare on it. Yep, finally gets to kill something. Oh, why isn't he hitting it with the Jaegers? Oh, he's going for the recovery vehicle. <laughs> yeah, you have to kill he the mothership. You have to kill the mothership. <laughs> See, the shred's been activated. What? It's like Independence Day. You've got to go for the mothership, guys. Oh, one down, another to monstrous. go. I think Orange Pest activated Seek and Destroy just to save that one shaft here. How expensive is Seek and Destroy? Is like 110 or something? Uh, it's fairly uh, 125. expensive. 125, okay, 125. Yeah. Seems bad. It's an utterly obnoxious ability. But relative to the rest of the ob utterly obnoxious abilities in the game, would you say 125 is a fair price or too cheap? Or? Uh, uh, it's probably it's probably too cheap, especially for the 50 percent speed is by far the worst part. Yeah. You're <laughs> you're doing donuts around any medium vehicles. Uh, with that. Oh, and mate's gonna get ambushed. Oof. Big shout out to Inca Una, by the way, who's now found how to do a donut, like, by clicking. He's been sharing <laughs> that clip amongst the community. Like, being able to, like, reproduce the error that causes a donut. And that's been his one um, contribution to the community in this game, so that's good. Uh, Co 3, I mean, he was a big contributor to Co 2, of course. Looks like Orange Best is saving for easy eight. Four Shreks is gonna be tough. Fergie floating a lot of resources as well. I wanna see more martyrs and mines. Yeah, he's yeah. gotta get there. Meanwhile, we have two victory points held for a while now for Fergie. Orange Best down to 62 VPs. This miraculous comeback has kind of been derailed. We're going for another Verbal Vin. Four pounds of Shreks, two Verbal Vins for Fergie was his answer to this mechanical verbal, nightmare. Then, man. Seems to have kind of worked so far. He's held the victory points at least, guys. Yeah, the way the DDL is set up on this side of the map, though, allows you to really hold on to the mid and top VP. It doesn't work as well if the spawns are reversed, though. Significantly further away. Oh, no. If only he had a mod right now. Right, Orange Pest just can't seem to get himself into the center to cap this victory point. He's got all his Jaegers on home fire right now. Seems to have worked, guys, the Faraji defense. Right, Sherman easy. Surely Orange Pest goes in this. He has to. He has Lots of munitions for Seek and Destroy here as well. Nice. 
Okay, let's look at all of his marshaled units. He's got two rifles pushing in from the north. He's taking the MG's gaze in the center. He hits a mine, however. His tanks are like... Are oh, they going to do it? They're going to have to. Even the M31's going in. Mine hit by the Greyhound. He's going to soldier on regardless. He rides for death. He rides for Rohan. Can he get in there? Greyhound down. Rifles down. M31 trying to block shots here. The Easy 8 still riding strong. The Verbals are backing up. The Jaegers are still there. How many are active, guys? Two? Yeah, not a whole lot. Yeah, not a whole still. lot. I mean, everything. <laughs> yeah, he's still got one active and in the DDL. No, there's two actives. Yeah. The one's retreating now. The verbals are firing back. And Orange Pest was able to neutralize the victory points, leaving himself on 22. He loses yet another vehicle. He's 30 pop cap against 87. I think he's a blunted spear right now. <laughs> Yeah, and the repair vehicle died as well, so... Oh, the mothership down, okay. Everything just yeah. goes, like, floppy now. Just kind of, like, orange pest powers down as soon as the M31 is dead. I think this is a fresh chaffy. Yeah, fresh chaffy. But it's going to run into two Shreks. <laughs> <laughs> GG! Ferrogy wins 2-0. Nice strat from orange pest. But unfortunately, Faraji too damn strong. I mean, yeah, that kill differential here speaks for itself, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> How, what was the KD in the end? <sighs> that was a pack KD. One twenty-nine to Faraji for a seventy-six of Orange Pest. Whoa. So. One seventy-nine to seventy-six KD, and what was the efficiencies of both the uh, both guys? I, I run past the strats for some reason. I'm an idiot. You got 82% on Fair G, 75 on Orange Pest. Mm, okay. And how many vehicles did Orange Pest lose? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, in total, lost vehicles, nine total. Three mm, okay. Chaffees, three Greyhounds, two Jeeps, and one recovery vehicle. <laughs> Oh, that's unfortunate. Orange Pest will be seething, I'm sure. No let's, doubt. Let's invite him to the call so we can listen to him seethe, maybe? Is he still on? Yeah, of course he will be listening to this, no doubt. Do we pile in on him? I think we should. Orange Pest, are you seething? What? Oh, he's in a pissed off mood. I like it. Are you seething? Are you okay? What happened? I'm Tell okay. us. Oh. I don't. I'm not mad. He, he outplayed me for a square. This is. is that, I you think, got work to do now. It, well, I already went to work. Oh. I I, I think the problem. Uh, I don't like this format because I work a lot of weekends. But having to play right after work is pretty exhausting. So I didn't do it to perform at my best. I mean, my micro was off, like completely. I was being super sloppy, and my decision making was all over the place. I will say though, I did like the recovery vehicle. That's uh, recovery it, it's vehicle okay, was, but was I was great. just crushing on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just like, I, I mean, well, no matter what I say, people are just gonna call it excuses. So it, it doesn't matter. Uh, make it I don't know about that. Uh, I think you got really matter, unlucky. I'm gonna win uh, the losers bracket, so I don't care. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just win true. the best of seven. I don't give a shit. That's true. There was a losers bracket. Right. This 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 isn't done. So <laughs> this like week, it. I'm gonna put my nose to the fucking grindstone. I like you, man. I finally found a scrim partner too. Thank God. Do you want to share who the screen partner is, or are you keeping it super no, secret? No, fuck so keep... no. <laughs> I can reveal his screen partner is me, guys. <laughs> He's gonna play me. I'll be right back. <laughs> you're, you're the perfect screen partner. Don't worry. Yeah, it'll build your confidence. You'll be like, I'll oh, beat A in 1 minute 20. I want to beat that. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Uh, 
Who else says it's is the is the next uh like how are this is does anyone know how this is set up now for the finals and stuff? Do we have to play during the week? Because I really don't want to play after work. It's actually so miserable. I don't know. Like uh, the dates are set, but I, I think I really think it probably matters to like, it, it, I feel like it should be pushed like casters. I don't care about loses bracket, but it has to be played on the weekend because I can't like I don't want to play after work. Like you get mentally exhausted, and then you're like playing it like sixty percent. Yeah, I think you're using a tired voice voice changer. I'm not. I'm <laughs> I'm legitimately oh, like, exhausted. Oh yeah, right. You sound like Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone when yeah, he has that yeah, yeah. talk boy voice changer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> this is le legi I'm legitimate, legitimately tired. Yeah, but, or especially you must have, you must realize that because you win most of the time and you like you know, yeah, I know. In the I wounds. Know. This uh, is all, this all is the, our dividend. All the fucking insects coming out the woodworks <laughs> to fucking peck at me. A whale Eel. falls down the ocean, or the little uh, bottom feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can we see Dirty he, Finishers he next? Fuck, keep fucking, keep fucking <laughs> laughing. Just wait. I can't wait just to see wait. Dirty Finishers just title wait. over the extreme. Just, just wait. <laughs> the next tournament will have Devil Chargers be fucking disabled. So I'm just gonna abuse people to death. Just watch. Just watch me. <laughs> oh wait. So wait. So now are you finally saying that Devil Chargers are fair game though? The yes. next tournament. Uh, I don't think AE yes. is gonna like. Oh, hey, anything. whoa, whoa, whoa. Who says I'm organizing a tournament? I've just said there's an announcement. That doesn't mean anything. I could be A only fans. Okay, it's, it's you know DLC. nothing. Sure, whatever. You know nothing, okay? Sure. This doesn't fucking matter. Cause... Demo charges or. Demo charges are incredible. I've been, play, I've been playing all day with demo charges after that uh, tournament game, and I've realized how utterly busted they are. <laughs> so I'm just gonna run around abusing people. No fucks given. Uh, I have a question. I have a question. What was your thought process behind Dak? Well, you picked that, you picked fa you pick faction before map. Um, if I, if it had been map first, I would have gone Vermont because basically I had a whole Vermont counter strat built ahead of time for Road to Tunas for the exact thing Fergie was doing with the jeeps. And it shits, on. It shits, on. And it shits on that. it shits on that build so hard. But because you pick factions before you do map, it means uh, it means basically like all my plans got thrown out the window. Because if I if I play it safe or unsafe rather and pick Varmark first, then if I get Twin Beaches or Famonville, I pretty much just lose, guaranteed. And I had second faction pick and he had US so this obvious like first pick. So it's just a, it was just a collapse of that. <laughs> but if I'd had like, if I could have picked faction uh, for Road to Tunis, I would have picked Vermont because I had a specific strategy set up for it. But it was between it was between Crossroads, which I hadn't played Dak on in like legitimately months now, or Road to Tunis, which I hadn't practiced for fucking Dak on either because I never got it in auto match. I only got, like, what was map out. three supposed to be? Crossroads. Crossroads. Oh, God. Okay. That would have been. Crossroads. Uh, Crossroads. I think is probably the best map for jeeps. Uh, but he wouldn't have had jeeps because it's battle group eliminator. Which is the which is the part uh, that's going down. Which is oh, why yeah. you go deck first. Because then he goes uh, airborne, and then then I go MP40s or cold stone. I just you can just win. I think. Oh, uh, yeah. True. True. But like, yeah, it, do it doesn't. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm just. I'm good about it. Hmm. I forgot yeah. about that. Let's check out the brackets now, uh, if we can find them. Hang on. I remember how UMB's mind works. It's in player announcements. I just go into your Google Doc. Uh, Google no, I don't want to open up my. Uh... Oh, browser yeah. history on stream, thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, here we go. So obviously, Orange Pest now goes down here. I won't update the brackets even though I have the power to. So he's going to be up against. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've got to wait for Havoc, Charlotte, and. Me and Charlotte already played. Dexter Symbiosis, which has. You guys already played? 
So yeah. that Hexen and Symbiosis are playing tomorrow. Have you uploaded the replays yet, Havoc? Uh, no, and honestly, they're not worth watching. That well, doesn't upload them matter. You I, like, the like, I'll share them. I'll share them. I'll, no, I'll, you've I'll got to, them. otherwise you probably don't progress in the brackets, right? <laughs> you know, that's pretty important. Yeah, I, sh I shared it with, uh, with UMB, but I guess he didn't. Oh, sorry, I see. Probably Zany will cast that one, I think. Uh, Zany is the Charlotte caster of choice, I believe. Uh, Dex and Simbi? Any predictions on Dex and Simbi? Symbiosis will roll them. You think? 100%. Yeah, I think so too. I did the mistake Dex, of... Symbiosis has better micro than, like, basically the only person who's, like, equally as good at micro is Fergie and me. So... Maybe Sula. Are we listen are we living in like an AE fan fiction dream? No, Have I um, like been hit by a car or something? I played like a I, told I, you I, I played I'm like gonna a agree with what Nate said in the chat. I'm I am i am only going I'm gonna go with Simbi just because Simbi seems to have the meta down to the key and I dex him. He's like a player who plays the game a lot and I, I he's not gonna play meta. Uh, I did the I, I completely forgot about Vorbro wins when I played earlier this morning and he rolled out like three or four of them and just completely rolled me. Okay. <laughs> so if Sim Simbi will progress then we say, but then versus Hulk Smash who does play meta? Uh he'll play Hulk Smash too. Okay. I'm pretty sure he'll play. basically he'll he'll go up against I think Havoc eventually. Interesting. Havoc, you're gonna have it. You've already played him though, right? I swear to god. No, hang on. No, he, he, uh, no, Havoc beat Alper. I think Dexon can Theo. win one game, though. We'll see. Because so Havoc Simbi would be hype. In fact, yeah, it's, this has been like... If there is a big tourney coming, I mean, at least this has been an amazing training ground, right? Getting everybody back and playing properly after the... I just thing hope for a while. there is one more top-level player like Jessalyn would be nice. Yeah, same. Because then uh, it feels like any, I'm actually any... have a semblance of a competitive... I had to step game. away. What was the question? Um, Does it hang to the left or the right? Oh, the left. Yeah, everyone <laughs> seems to be to the left. I don't know why that is. It's so strange. It's because everybody's right-handed. Oh, I see. So we just like, yeah, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm um, left-handed, though. And it's does left. yours hang to the right, then? No, it's left. Wow. Okay. Are you always the one holding yours? <laughs> because maybe, maybe your partner's right-handed, I don't know. Oh, fuck <laughs> sake, Christ. <laughs> okay. Right, best, the round seven's going to be a best of five, Orange Fest, so if you're tired on the day, maybe you can, like, I don't know. Take uh, if this isn't... If, if, I'm not something. playing that on, on a Monday or anything. I'm playing that on the weekend. I don't care what they're going to say. Are we, uh, uh, because are we I don't, I'm not, I'm not like, the rest of the This guy's, like, forcing me to play, like, a million games already. Um, I feel like it's I have some like room. To one hundred dollars for the winner now. I I added fifty. I had doubled it myself personally. One hundred and fifty. You gotta give them. You gotta give me the non meta award too. No, because you didn't win. What? I... Wait, you have to win with the non meta. Yeah, award? yeah. You okay. can't just go uh, something true, stupid true, 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 and lose. True, true, true. Okay, so, I think so just, like, just, just I, wait. I noticed. Just wait. Like, just I'm gonna wait. go sandbag only. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> well, no, but like the. Uh, <laughs> a recovery vehicle spam thing is just strong, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. Doesn't matter if he knows it's coming. I yeah. stole that player's flag truck, that was pretty funny. Dude, that's awesome. And also the, uh... What was it? I had a vehicle. Yeah, the flag truck was being repaired by the recovery truck and the L6s couldn't kill it. It was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, Alpen's got a point orange pass, picking armored and demanding the non-meta reward. It's like the only, well, okay, who else is gonna play non meta? Like, what? Like, Airborne, uh, Airborne with like one, one more Pathfinder instead of like two. Whoopee. I, I use the unit play. literally nobody else ever uses. Just play Rangers. Have we seen Rangers so far? Yeah, just, just play the Rangers on Roots. Awesome. Let me update them. Oh god, that's funny, bro. Yeah, Pax never got a single Ranger out in any of his games. We also lost all his games now. He, I, uh, he took one game off Hulk Smash. That was a shit show of a game. I cast that. That was actually really funny okay, to watch. He's struggling against Pax. He's, he's uh, but, but that's because the they played on Fame and Villain. Hulk Smash has never played this map. He's so, good against me. Oh, yeah, he's a co one player. We, we don't know this map, Fame and Villain. Uh, I think Hulk Smash played He's played in the Master too. League, dude. He has plenty of experience. Uh, Hulk Smash? In Co yeah. 2? Yeah, a little bit. Co 3. 
We got played the a bit of Coco. Oh, as well. yeah, true, true. Okay, uh, yeah. But uh, it's he not came the back same, like though. a once in Co. I just say they come back because it makes it more exciting. But a lot of these Co. One guys have come back before. They just didn't like it. I think Simbi is a genuine comeback. I believe, though. I think he was missing for a long time. I want to say. I don't know about Raw Eleven. I think Raw Eleven's always been doing the Co. One stuff, right, to bear. Co. One, yeah. Mainly two v twos. Yeah. I remember him just literally. And the worst two in the entire game, though. I don't know. I you know what? I'm actually I'm gonna say here. I think Co. One two v twos are better than Co. Threes. So I. Lame. I actually no. I gonna stick with that statement. <laughs> Maybe. I, okay. You mean declare? You know that's what? All, that's I'd all Co. Play... One two v two is. It's declare. It's I like... would rather play Duclair already party than play Co. Three. Blub around forward reinforcement. Mm. I just I can't get behind that. I can't I've, kick. I I'm telling you. Yeah, I I've got a can't. controversial take. I think Co two two v two is overrated, and everyone seems to really really like it. I just That's the way I see it, it's so grindy though, and it's like ISU one five two versus Elephant forever and Rocket Artillery versus Pax. Will the Pax dodge the Katusha this time? Oh, they a... did again. <laughs> I played Code 2 the other day for the first time in like five years, and we were 45 minutes into the game, and neither team had broken 250 VPs yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's it's like it's cool to see who's got the best like micro. Don't get me wrong; it's like a really good test of who can last the longest. Like if you're doing a tournament purely on based on who's figuring out who the stronger player is, I suppose like it's superior, I guess. Like in terms of raw mechanics and like ability to keep a high level for a really long time. But that's like watching tennis and they just do baseline rallies, you know, like Rafael Nadal versus Djokovic. And they're just there and the commentators are going, wow, 100 shots now and neither has tried to hit it down the line. <laughs> that's what it's like for me. It's just kind of like tepid. It's like tap water. Sorry, guys. No, I, I just, I just personally, I just feel team games in Cold 3 are in a really bad spot. I'm, really? Yeah, I, I'm telling you, I can't, I just, the forward reinforcement for every faction. I, I don't know why they did that. I'll... <laughs> if, if they remove that, the team game experience is significantly better, but it's... I don't know. I feel uh, I feel it's very hard. Most of the maps are very laney as well, mm. so... The, the only map I actually enjoy playing on is Pacino. Yeah, and the reason why Pacino is a good map is because it's wide. So even if you do like the Metruk reinforcement camping blob meta, mm. which is like m mostly common maybe on uh, Campbell's Highway, but on Pacino I feel there's a lot more mobility. And why I feel like are you so of... much better on Pacino, both 1v1 and 2v2 to bear? If I see you a replay of yours and it includes Pacino, I think, oh, he might have a chance of winning this time. I'm like more engaged if I watched you on Pacino versus the other maps. Uh... Is that true? Is that your I muse? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like with Rangers, I think Pacino is a relative is a safe map for Rangers. I yeah. actually usually find myself playing better when I play Rangers. I really tried for like a solid week making them work. Uh, and I, I think they are viable to a certain degree, but like every verb player at the moment is just going not one verbal win, not two. It's like three verbal wins and it's like... Because they're, they're too cheap. Yeah, they're they're, well, they're, say, they're, they're that... better than they're better than the P four though because yeah. they fucking cripple your economy. Never yeah. go tier four, never go tier three as dark. Uh, just tier always stay yeah, in tier two. I think tier four, with axes. Just, I think tier, four, I think tier four is fine. I think it's just the problem is it's hard to justify going for something like a P four when your opponent can get like two chaffies and just dive you and the P four yeah. dies or so, like, are we a hell talking two v two now? Sorry, or one v one? Yeah, no, you know, in two v two, I would say the meta in two v two as axis is you play martyrs and Brumbar because Brit players can only go yeah, Matildas. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget and... Nebels as well, by the way. It's okay to bat tech for Nebel in uh, 2v2. As well, as well Nebel's as not bad. It's not bad, but um, yeah, it's uh, if you're going tier 4, I would say it's just for the Brumbar. Or maybe a Stostrupin. Well, you, your Brumbar's so much more powerful if you've got Nebels to push away the AT guns, because obviously the natural counter to Brumbar is double M1 or double 6 pounder, so... I just feel uh, like 2v2 is yeah. a different meta, I believe, for them. They're very different, meta. but that that's where that, that I would make... Yeah, that basically, if you're playing mixed, which I think is probably the best format for 2v2, is usually the DAC player just gets the 88, and oh, then you yeah. kind of blob around. So again, I feel like 2v2s yeah. are too blobby, and it's too difficult to dislodge this stuff. It's like if I have an 88 in code 1, right? I just use off-map artillery. 
But it's like, no, this 88 can move around. And then also, if you decrew it, they can instantly recrew it. And as it's being recrewed, your AT guns can't knock out the actual gun. So it's... I think if you ran a 2v2 tournament, you'd ban DDL. Because it just makes the games too linear and boring. For I wouldn't for ban it. I, 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 what do I you do see... then? Uh, I think like, the map's Campbell's convoy is so, just like, bad. I, I guess if you're doing like a, a, a forced, like, nerf, or like a thermal format, just put on a bunker. Mm. They're only allowed yeah, to I feel, I feel like that would be points. the better call because yeah. just... I, I feel personally, by the way, that the nerf they should go with is just making it. So if you put up the DDL, you point as fast as the like, cap, basically. Mm. Faster than Because right now the problem that. is like, if you put on like a plus 16 or something, but good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. yeah. That. Sorry, Orange, but did you say it should be a bunker, bunker so you could kill it right? You can kill no, the DDL. I, I think that a decap speed should just be increased if you're got it enabled on like any victory point what if they made the the the, the ddl smaller i think they, smaller they would be better they too fix the issue because the problem is you can just sit there and endure whatever they should throw at you while repairing all your vehicles so you don't yeah. need pioneers It'd be anymore. so much more susceptible to indirect fire though yeah but that's the thing yeah so actually i i think i think if they do one of those nerfs it would be okay because it's like okay if i get something like a pack cowrie or a polston with the the heavy mortar well, the circle is so big that I'm only barraging one key unit. But if it were, if the circle were tighter, right? If there's like two Verbowins being repaired, a Jagger healing. If I like use a, a whiz bang or like a 105, <laughs> everything in there gets punished. Dude, I've mm -hmm. just thought of the funniest, the funniest nerf ever. Right, the DDL starts the size it is now, but over the course of 10 minutes, it gradually gets smaller. <laughs> 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 That'd be so funny. <laughs> Until it eventually becomes too small and disappears. Yeah. Has there ever been an ability that has a permanent duration? Yeah. Seal. Fixed forward headquarters. Seal for co Oh, Zeal and permanent. co one. Zeal and co one. That's true. Yeah, the, also the vision point one. The permanent uses all the vision of your points. Yeah. It that's gives true. you basically three map hacks. That was the Overwatch too. one, right? I was in Co One for defensive dog. Every single point that you captured gave you extra line of sight. So if you're playing a one v one map, if you're playing Ver, you basically have full vision in your territory because the map. All, all the manpower reduction abilities too. And all the bases, the MG came out the top. So if you were in the yeah, middle of as a, a base machine gunner, you yes. could just click yes. it, and they would all come out and like start yeah. killing stuff. <laughs> yeah. If your opponent ever dropped a half track with engineers into your base and you saw that, you were like, oh shit, I need the machine gunners on my base to stop this. He's gonna plant demos everywhere. Mm. Yeah. Zeal was very strong, though. That's probably one of the strongest passives in Code 1. That was pretty much it, though. Right, which of you guys wants to be raided? We've now built up enough uh, YouTube buffer space that I can safely stop the recording. Um, who wants to. Are you, go are you streaming Havoc or no? No, I gotta get the boy up soon. Get All the right, boy okay. up. I guess I'll stream. Uh, remind yeah. me your channel name. To me. Dumbass TV. To <laughs> me TV. I say to right, right? Mm-hmm. I'm the only person in the community to do that. That's Monsieur to me. To me. Well, Team France can say it properly as well, you know. They're not in the community. French people aren't in the community. Okay. Mm. They're in the French co-community. <laughs> segregated. It's uh, it's quarantined. I can't believe it. Unreal. Oh dear. Okay. Right. I'm gonna click raid now. I presume you're online. Yeah, I'm about to go online now. All right. Thanks, dudes. Oh, no Hope problem. you have a good uh, week. Good fun, nerds. I'll see you later. All right. Take care. Over and out.